Hello and welcome to the video review for Transformers Robots in Disguise 2015 Legion Class Grimlock. Grimlock is a green Tyrannosaurus Rex this time. He's green and black. Who knew? I guess they're homaging his, uh, I think it's the Unicon trilogy. Maybe it was the original Robots in Disguise? Car Robots? Hmm. He was one of the members of like a construction team combiner type thing, I believe, and he was green and black. Can't remember what series that was. He is not a bad figure at all. His mouth doesn't open, obviously, but his hands move. And his leg. They, I mean, they're his arms, so they move. He's got his uh, head and his butt right there. But other than that, you can't really tell any robot kibble, which is cool. His tail's not super stumpy, which is nice. And he balances very well. You can have him um, more of a standing up pose if you want. Although his head doesn't move, so he's always going to kind of be looking up a little bit. But you can also lean him forward quite a bit before he starts falling over. I can usually get him to about there, which is much longer, much further down than most people are probably going to want him anyway. So. For size comparison, here he is with some other Prime Cyberverse and Robots in Disguise Legion guys. To transform Grimlock, you just kind of point these arms up to get them out of your way. Come in here and you just want to split these outer black parts and they're going to swing down and these pegs right here are going to peg into the sides of the legs right there. Like so. And then angle the arms back like that, they're going to become kind of like side heel spurs. Flip the tail down, straighten the arms out, and split the legs. And there you have Grimlock in his robot mode. He looks pretty nice. He's got ball joints for his arms. He's got no head articulation no waist articulation ball joints on his hips that are weirdly limited for some reason like his legs can't go up they can only go like in and up and out and it's weird it's like the stuff on his leg actually prevents his leg from moving properly you have to like swing it inwards and stuff it's very strange it might wear down after time but it is limited out of the box you don't have any knee or foot articulation or anything so that's about it. He's probably one of the lesser articulated, but he's also pretty cool. He's a neat looking guy. Here he is with the rest of the Robots in Disguise Legion figures. My thoughts on Grimlock are that he's pretty awesome. I'm really digging this whole line of Legion class. I like the warrior class too, they're pretty good, but the legion class for some reason is really just enjoyable to me. They're interesting enough transformations that they're not boring and they're not overly, overly simplistic. They're doing some things that we haven't seen before in any size class, but definitely not in this size class. And that's kind of refreshing. They all look decent, they all stand well, they're all... I mean the quality control on all of them seems to be really high, so... What can I say? He's a good figure, and I highly recommend him. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.